So, what is up guys? Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Remastered Mod Showcases on my channel. I hope you guys are having a super brilliant day and today we are going to be looking at the Skyfall Estate. Another amazing sort of player home, I suppose you could call it, mod to showcase on the channel. We've done a lot of the author's mods. I cannot wait to cover this one as well. It is vastly, extremely, it's just, it's huge. It's honestly amazing. You're probably thinking, well, what are we looking at now? We're just looking at a little bit of land with a for sale sign. It's a bit boring. Well, bear in mind, guys, just wait. As always, guys, if you want this mod, it's down in the description below. Make sure to go and click those links to the proper allocated one that you want and grab it yourself because you're going to grab this, trust me, especially after this. So, once you've installed the mod, you're going to need to go over to this location here. You're obviously going to need to walk there. It's literally right down from White Run, so no excuses on this one. No teleporting instantly. You're going to have to go find this one. And it's literally called the Skyfall Estate. And it is literally right next to White Run. So pretty easy to get to, I'm not going to lie. Once you agree to buy this, it's a small little bridge. You'll know which one it is because it has a massive for sale sign literally right outside of it. You're going to click it. It's going to ask you. Skyfall Estate costs 10 thousand gold a little bit expensive but your boy's got loads of cash that's fine obviously you're gonna need 10,000 gold as well and a shite load more and I'll explain further on in the video why you're gonna need a little bit more gold to build you receive a key and a deed upon purchase do you wish to purchase yes I do and it is sold and miraculously <gasps> it appears what that's insane that little bit of land has changed into something absolutely extravagant like this what and there seems to be a personalized guard here not too sure I want that, but here it is on the outside. It looks freaking awesome. I'm not gonna lie, it looks absolutely beautiful. And wait till we get inside as well, you're gonna be blown away. So let's have a quick walk around, let's have a little look. Not too bad, it's quite large actually. But the section wasn't on there, but it is uh, it is relatively large. It is right next to the white run. If you actually think about it, these sort of rocks here are pretty much we're actually on the outside wall of white run. Pretty awesome. We've got a small decking area here. I can get on there due to uh, those rocks, maybe, or get stuck. One of them. I probably am stuck. No, we're good. There we go. Oh, it's right next to the uh, little river bit here as well. Nice little view as well for you guys. That is awesome. Okay, cool. Nice. So let's head on in to the actual Skyfall Estate. Hello, hello, hello. Here we go. Hello, friend. There's a note that seems to be stabbed onto the door. My apologies for the dagger mark in your door but I was on my way to Whiterun and seen this homestead newly built but not yet in her full potential. I get excited when I have a knife in my hand but the dagger is yours for any inconvenience. Oh well thank you for the free dagger I suppose it's a great bonus even though I've spent 10,000 and your dagger's probably worth about 20 but that's fine 20 gold not 20,000. You can find me in the uh, basically the pub within White Run, not too bad. I may have the building supplies that you require to, please, to complete such a project for a nice place called home, such as this, Gibson. Well, thank you, Gibson, for that. I'm obviously going to take Gibson's dagger, if I can. I'll throw it to a side. You're not having your dagger back. And uh, I'll take me bloody piece of paper that you've literally stabbed in my door you can tell it's probably one of these marks but that's fine we've got the key upon purchase so let's enter the building and have a little look let's have a little explore so straight off the bat it reminds me of pretty much like a last one we did as well it's got these crazy little workbenches scattered around the house i do believe which you can actually go into them and upgrade individual bits again nice floor texture on this one very shiny polished wood looks absolutely awesome very clean looking house as well loads of different sections to do with the house it's absolutely freaking massive again it's one of those tardis houses i do believe um relatively small on the outside this one's quite big though and once you come into it is uh extensively huge so it does look kind of nice can i wait to upgrade this let's have a quick look upstairs as well let's see what we like before we start upgrading there's a downstairs as well but let's go upstairs first love the stairs not too small either whoa crazy upstairs again another workbench just for the upstairs location i believe this is going to be the master bedroom looks pretty damn cool this is sort of like the entrance bit to that it's about here this is obviously going to be some sort of crafting section i do believe or maybe a mannequin section or storage who knows that's kind of creepy in there oh what about these for enable activate cheat supplies oh hello 
So these are nice freebies as well. This is probably all of the stuff to do with the player home. I'm not sure. I'm going to take all of that because why not? And then after that, you can actually close it. So it sort of takes away all those buttons if you want to sort of an actual realistic home as well another sort of crafting section not too bad not too bad okay cool so let's obviously have a look at the downstairs before we start upgrading everything to do as a whole let's go downstairs and have a look at the basement area oh wow someone actually linked me a mod to uh, change these I haven't actually done it yet so I do apologize for that but thank you ever so much for uh, linking me the uh, mod to actually correct those if you guys want to know what that is obviously let me know and I'll copy and paste the link that the gentleman gave to me as well a large area down in the basement here these are obviously going to be display cases they obviously aren't here just yet so that may be due to that blue texture not too sure a massive room down here the uh, basement is freaking huge I don't know why it's absolutely massive Jesus cheeky little broom if anyone wants that does it go on further no it doesn't I was gonna say Jesus Christ it goes down even further but it doesn't not too bad awesome uh, two little sort of sections here this is probably to do with storage maybe or some sort of uh, mannequin or something in there not too bad not too bad another big room and again another workbench that's awesome okay cool so let's start off with the main area to begin with which is uh, this one up here so as we walk in the second floor so let's go into here and just uh, start creating everything it will go into a black screen just because it is making it and uh, sort of crafting it into a I suppose a new section into the building I mean you can literally spam this way to go dark screen and it will appear again as you can tell like so and obviously it will go through every other section if you continuously spam it to create everything else obviously it will stop if you don't have the requirements but I believe that cheat sort of box there for the supplies will auto correct all of the mistakes that you won't have so you won't be able to stop so you can do literally just spam and once it has stopped you have created everything so this is the new second floor as you can tell we've already got hello are you my new wife are you my slave what have you got for sale okay a little bit strange what okay I'm just gonna blank that um it looks freaking awesome as always there's loads of little things added into this which is mind-boggling like these are little textured tiles up here that's cool with some plant pots some benches some cupboards some workbenches not too bad that's very nice it's just the atmosphere throughout all of these uh, mods that this author has made it's just absolutely awesome there's so many little bits of detailing as well the actual doors I mean like, look at this area I mean what it's, it's absolutely insane look shrine we've got some free fire uh, fire breed brand wine fire breed uh, fire brand wine some uh, cheese and some bread not too bad where's those sweet rolls baby fireplace can we activate this yes you can look at that look at that this is what I love about this order they add so many different things into this the little little things that just set it off ever so slightly more doors to be added as well nice little cooks area I believe that's where this person would have been maybe activate sink it does work as well don't worry about that use the oven as you do I'm not gonna make anything just yet but that's fine not too bad loads of materials to use in here as well but just just generally it looks freaking out awesome do you not think like come on now for a player's home for 10,000, obviously going to need to spew a little bit of cash into it in my making things, which are a requirement to do with this as well. You, obviously, even after activating that cheat chest, you obviously are going to need to do that as well. Let's go into the upstairs and upgrade that as well. Nice. I love I love this. I would love this in my own house, but I feel like I couldn't keep up, look after it. It would just die in like probably about a week or two. Not too sure. Third floor. So let's, uh, let's spam through all of these as well and uh, get everything created. You're probably going to hear me spam that A button like a absolute beast. So uh, I do apologise for that, but uh, the sooner we done it, the uh, sooner we done it, the sooner we get it done, the, uh, the sooner we can actually look at the Skyfall Estate third floor in fully functioning order, which uh, I'm quite psyched about actually. So guys, after adding everything to the third floor, which is the main top hall, this is basically what it looks like. Absolutely awesome again. Kind of got a lot of plants going through the house. I'm a little bit worried about this. A little bit worried about this. Kind of reminds me of a Jumanji, but oh, that's fine. Nice, we've got some crafting tables ready to go as well. Can we search these? No, we can't actually take them. Oi, hello? Storage, black, do we have any? No, that's fine, but that's nice. It's a nice feature to have in there though. So you can categorize where your stuff actually goes and store it. That's very nice for you people that like that sort of function. I would personally like that. I don't like sifting through a mound full of crap to find one particular thing that I'm after. 
There is one black soul. Oh, there's a couple of freebies there if you guys want that. Let's have a little look as well. A couple of weapons cases, the display cases as well. Doors have been added onto this. Main bedroom, not too bad. One of the spare bedrooms, I do apologise. Bung the fire on, because uh, why not? Set up the homey feel. And this is going to be another bedroom? No, it's not. Oh, it's a smaller bedroom. It's a smaller bedroom, that's fine. Oh, two beds there, that's not too bad with a display case as well. Wooden sword, if any of you actually want to take that into battle, not too sure why. Uh, this, I do believe, was the original, yep, yeah, sort of cheat thing here, or the enable or disable workbenches, that's fine. Open the door, this is going to be a shower room. What? That changed drastically. Turn the sink on, because why not? There's a shower, I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure the shower actually works. Oh, there you go. Lovely. So there's that one as well. A few with storage and a bathtub there. Kind of like an own sort of jacuzzi. Not too bad throughout that. There's a couple of other doors as well. So let's go into the basement and have a little look in the basement as well. See what functionalities it has to offer in there. So I'm going to find it, which is literally just down in the stairs here. Run all the way down. And uh, I'm going to upgrade everything in here. And uh, see what it looks like when it's all done. So I'm going to speed this bit up and uh, have a little look when it's done. Okay, so we've done all of the last floor, I do believe, and as you can tell, whoa, there's an awful lot of stuff here. Pretty sure these mannequins are moving. Maybe not. Okay, it might just be me. That's a little bit strange. I need to get this uh, texture fixed, but there is a patch for that, so that's fine. We don't need to worry about that at all. Obviously, let's have a look around in this one. It's going to be another sort of sleeping quarters, I believe, for these guys. I'm not too sure. That's a little bit weird. I'm not too sure I hold a broom like that as well, my good sir. Follow me, I need your help, Drake. I need a one dance. I'm joking, I'll stop. <laughs> right, there's more mannequins, which is awesome. Quite a few mannequins scattered around this whole entire sort of a uh, state, I suppose you could call it. I swear he was moving. Might have been me. What's down here? I think this might, might be the basement, that one. Had a little explore earlier. Some more weapon racks as well. This is terrifying. That's cool, though. I love. I do like skulls, so that's pretty cool. That's in here. Sort of another display room here with more mannequins and more storage. Not too bad. Nicely nice. And then we're going to run out of storage in here. That's for damn sure. More display cabinets on this side with some weapon racks. I'm not too sure you can actually fit all your weapons on it. I mean, how many weapons does one have? Whoa, okay. This is definitely their quarters. This is uh, quite a few beds in one sleeping court, one area. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, cool. So let's try that other door there. I do believe that actually does go down into the basement. I'm pretty sure it does. We'll soon find out. I'm very optimistic. Oh, here we go. And down into... What the fudge? What the... Whoa, what? And another section? Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. This place is huge. Sure, this is a basement. Where the bloody hell does this go? What is this? This has got to be another area, surely. Surely. Maybe, ah, actually. Might build it a trap door there to go back up. Not too sure. That's just my guess on that one. We're obviously going to have to build the rest of the furniture and see where it all goes. Half a weapons rack by the looks of that. That's a little bit weird. The textures, I think, is glitched into the wall. Not too sure. Little area here. Not bad. It is obviously quite large. There's another bit down here. What the... What is this? Why is this underbit so massive? I've got a little swimming pool here, a little steam bar. Not too bad. Let's go all the way back up. This is crazy. I mean, I was just astonished with this sort of area here, but it actually goes further back as well. That, I do believe, goes on the outside. I'm not too sure. It says go to Skyrim, so I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that does go back outwards as well. This place is freaking huge. No way does that one workbench do all of this stuff. These rooms are absolutely massive. We must be cramming an awful lot in here. Be interesting to see what's actually down here as well, purely because this is actually classed as the basement, and the floor upper to us was actually the first floor, which is a little bit strange because we actually we gain entrance to the second floor as we come into this building here. So I'm obviously, obviously going to just start crafting, I guess, to start creating all of these different things as well. Another thing to remember, guys, if you're spamming A, do not press any other buttons when you are coming out of the menus or waiting for the black screen to disappear. If you spam A, for instance, like so, and then you spam B, obviously to get rid of the dark screen, what will happen is it actually just straight up crash your game. There is no question about it. It will literally just crash the game. So if you're spamming A, maybe leave it for a little while, let it re-emerge like so, and then continuously 
you know, spam that A button. And I do apologize if you can hear the A button furiously spamming in the background, but that's fine. Okay, we're all done, that's fine. There we go. So obviously that black screen gone, so I then could proceed by pressing B to exit those menus. So uh, let's have a quick look around. What we got here? A couple of tables, a couple of paintings, not too bad. More bedding. Oh god, freaking eight beds. Some more crafting sections here. Obviously, enchantment table and an alchemy table. Not too bad. Loads of beds, which is freaking annoying. Ah, okay. This is this is a shower with some strange growth in it. Not too bad. I do like the theme of that though. But again, I don't think I could look after that IRL. That's fine. Cool. Let's close the doors because obviously we've been in that location now. Some more wardrobes. Not too bad. That's pretty cool. Dragon's head pinned up on the wall there. Not too bad. A little brewery section here with obviously some cooking equipment, pretty much like on the other floor as well. This must be the slaves' quarters or the workers' quarters, just to have all their stuff in, just in general. Another workbench there. What was down here? A little bear head. I do like this small touches of detail. I mean, you can add all of these bits individually, but for me, I've just spammed it all because why not? A little chill area down here. We got some uh, some food, some chairs, and obviously a bathing area. Not too bad. We got a bar here. That's how it's done. This is basically a party. So you could have your pool here. How deep is this? It's not too bad. It's heated as well. I'm not too sure how. Purely on the fact of it's literally just some stone walls, but that's fine. Some more chairs and then a bar, which is freaking damn awesome. It's got some towels around there as well. Note to detailing is absolutely awesome on this mod. Let's go down into the other bigger rooms as well to see what we have here. Back up to Skyrim. That hasn't changed. These are the ones which I was most interested at. Oh, they moved. It's moving. Hey, I told you it freaking moved. I knew it. They all are moving. That is terrifying. Okay, so yeah. A shite ton of mannequins again. Why are there so many? Display cases and weapons racks. Small chests as well, obviously, for certain pieces of armor if you want to stack up on those bits. The management on this is absolutely insane. I think you can stack things in different locations as well, like for instance the enchantment table, you can actually put them into categories, so black soul gems, greater soul gems, uh, uh, lesser soul gems, like all those different things, you can actually add them into their own sections, that's pretty damn cool. So guys, this has been the Skyfall Estate, hopefully you guys did enjoy. This mod has been absolutely massive, breathtaking as well, it's probably cost me an arm and a limb and resources, but if you are struggling with resources, obviously get that cheat chest which is back up on the first floor, or the second floor, in that wardrobe, if you obviously missed it, it's at the beginning of the video. But yeah guys, if you did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe for more daily content, let me know if you want to showcase anything on the channel as well, I really do appreciate you guys stopping by and viewing this video, but until the next one guys, get a care fair, and... Get a get out.